and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder. Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you going so early, Big Banana? To Sunflower Valley. I need to take these floorboards to Bob so he can finish the workshop in the new yard. Can I come with you? Shh. Don't wake Scrambler. Oh, but I really want to see Sunflower Valley. Not this time, Benny. Don't worry, I'll come back for you. See you soon. Bye, Big Banana. <sighs> Right, everyone. We've got a busy day ahead. We need to finish the workshop and build the storerooms. I wonder where Scoop is with those floorboards. He said he was going to set off very early. I wonder... Hi, everyone. Morning, Scoop. Hey, Scoop. How's Benny? Benny's great. He can't wait to see you all. Is he coming over? Maybe later, Dizzy, when he's finished his jobs. Well, we'd better get started, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yeah, I think so. Muck and Scoop, can you start digging the foundations for the storerooms? No prob, Wendy. What are we going to store in the storerooms? Building materials. But first, Farmer Pickles is coming tomorrow to store some straw bales in them. Morning all. I've brought the first load of straw bales. Farmer Pickles? I'll just get them into the storeroom, Bob. Oh. Well, there isn't a storeroom yet, Farmer Pickles. I thought you were coming tomorrow. Oh, dear. That is a pickle. I was going to bring another load out today. Well, you can leave this lot here for now. But they reckon it's going to rain tonight. Don't worry. We'll make sure the storeroom's finished before it rains. Oh, that's great, Bob. Oh, by the way, can I stay here tonight, please? I'd like to get an early start in the morning. Of course you can. Right, team. There's a lot to do and not much time. There. That's the bricks from JJ's unloaded. <gasps> Big Banana's back! Yeah. Hiya, Benny! Oh, hi, Scrambler. Oh, what's up? I thought you might be Scoop. Tell you what, if you help me find my talkie-talkie, you can speak to him. Unreal! Let's get cooking and start looking! Ooh. That's it! What's next, Bob? We need to get the tarpaulin roof on. Here it is. One roof. It doesn't look like a roof, Wendy. Roofs are flat, aren't they? This one needs rolling out to make it flat. <laughs> it's a rock and roll roof! Yes, Molly. Right, Lofty, let's lift it into place. What are those shiny things on it, Bob? They're solar panels to give us heat and power. Like the ones on Wendy's caravan? That's right. You left a gap, Bob. I know. The air in this gap will keep us cool in the summer and nice and warm in the winter. That's clever. Well, that's a big bucket, Bob. It's a water butt, Dizzy. It collects all the water that runs off the roof so we can use it again. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh, dear. We'd better get on with the storerooms, Bob. It sounds like rain's on the way. Right. Action stations, team. Scrambler? Last night. Think it must have fallen off when I did a wheelie. How many wheelies did you do? Loads. One here. <laughs> one here. <laughs> and here. <laughs> oh, I get the idea. It could be anywhere. That's it, Lofty. Drop them there. I can't hear that thunder now, Bob. Maybe we'll be lucky and the rain will stay away. Oh, I hope so. We've got such a lot to do. I wish we could slow Farmer Pickles down. Then we'd have more time to finish the storerooms. Yeah, if I was back in Bobsville, I'd go and slow him down. Well, you're not in Bobsville. 
But Scrambler and Benny are. I'll call them on the talkie talkie. Brilliant idea, Scoop. Scoop to Scrambler. Scoop to Scrambler. Over. It's the big banana. Benny to big banana. Are you coming to get me? Not yet, Benny. Farmer Pickles is on his way back to his farm to pick up more straw. I need you to slow him down so that we've got more time to finish the storerooms. That's easy peasy. Oh, who's Farmer Pickles? It's OK, I know. No problemo, Scoop. Over and out. Are you sure we're going to get this storeroom built on time, Scoop? Don't worry. Benny and Scrambler are going to slow Farmer Pickles down, so we've got plenty of time to finish the storerooms. I don't see him, do you? Uh-uh. But the straw's still here. Yeah. It doesn't look like he's been back yet. I know. Let's head out onto the road to Sunflower Valley. We're bound to bump into him. Let's scram! with Scrambler to see how things are going. Scoop to Scrambler. Scoop to Scrambler. Come in, over. Scrambler to Scoop. What's up? Have you slowed Farmer Pickles down? No, but he hasn't been back to the farm yet, so everything's cool. OK, let me know when he's on his way back. Over and out. That's it, Travis. Let's get back to Sunflower Valley. Righty, old Farmer Pickles. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Wait for me! Wow! So this is Sunflower Valley. It, it, it rocks. Right, Benny? Yeah. Where's Farmer Pickles? Do you think we missed him? Yeah, we must have. <sighs> We'd better go and tell the big banana. That's it, Lofty. Hi, everybody! Hi, everyone! So, you slowed Farmer Pickles down. Uh, not really, Big Banana. Yeah, we must have missed him. But we need more time to finish the job. Well, Speedy Benny will help. Of course. And I'd better scram back to Bobsville. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Far now, Travis. That's it, team. Finished. Looks like we're just in time. My word, that is a good job. Our old friend Benny gave us a hand. Hiya, Farmer Pickles. Nice to meet you. <coughs> I don't like the look of those clouds, Bob. Best get this straw unloaded. Don't worry, we'll get it done in no time. I think <coughs> we've got a stowaway. But <laughs> oh. what are you doing here? You were supposed to stay in Bobsville. Still, you can help us unload all this straw. What's it for, anyway? It's a surprise, Spud. You'll find out soon enough. Thanks, everyone. Are we going home now? No, Spud. I'm staying here tonight. Oh, can I stay too, Bob? OK, Spud. Unreal! Night, Farmer Pickles, Spud, Scruffy. Good night, Bob. Night, night. It's great to have you back working with us again. Yeah! It's unreal, Banana Peel!
Bob, let's play beach ball. Shh. Wendy's having a nap. Let's play over there. We can come back later for our picnic. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, I bet there's loads of scrummy food in Wendy's cool box, Scruffy. Hit it, Lofty. Oh, um, I'll try. <gasps> Oof. Nice one, Lofty. Oh, Lofty's hook has given me a great idea. <laughs> Scruffy, we mustn't wake up Wendy. Scrummy sandwiches, Scruffy. <sighs> Come to Spuddy. Ha <laughs> ha, Scruffy. All that scrummy food. Oh, I don't know what to eat first. <laughs> what? Spud! Uh, oh, you've set out the picnic! What a surprise! Uh, 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 yes, yes, Wendy, I was only uh, trying to help. Well, thank you, Spud. You saved me the trouble. Bob, it's picnic time! OK, Wendy! Well, I'll be off then. Aren't you hungry, Spud? We've got plenty of food. Oh, yes, please, Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's enough for you too, Scruffy. Wakey, wakey, Spud. Wake up, Spud. Hmm. He'll be sorry he missed breakfast. Oh. <laughs> Did someone say breakfast? I'm starving. Why don't you go and collect some eggs from the hen house while I put the kettle on? Oh, yes, 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 it is. I don't think Bob's going to want straw for breakfast. Hey, Henny and Penny, did you know that scarecrows are made from straw, just like your bed? <coughs> Maybe those straw bales Farmer Pickles brought yesterday are for you to sleep on. Seems a lot for just two chickens, though. <coughs> it was a very good idea to make a new one out of straw. I can't wait till it's finished, and I won't have to listen to Spud snoring anymore. Spud's going to be a problem. He wasn't supposed to be here. We're building it quite far away, so he shouldn't see it. Shouldn't see what? What new one are they making out of straw? Oh, no. It must be a new... Scarecrow. That's what all the straw is for. Farmer Pickles said it was a surprise. Surprises are supposed to be nice. I'm going to get left behind in Bobsville. And there'll be a new scarecrow for Sunflower Valley. Hey, everyone. Hi, Billy. Are you helping 
us today. Yeah, Bob said I could. Brilliant! Come on, Spud. Oh, that's funny. Where's he gone? Farmer Pickles must think there's too many birds in Sunflower Valley for Spud to scare. But why does he need so much straw to make a new scarecrow? He must be making a giant scarecrow! A super-sized scarecrow! Oh, no! Today we've got a very special job. We're going to build Farmer Pickles a new farmhouse. Yay! So we need to get all the straw bales over to the site. We're not building it out of straw, are we? Actually, team, we are going to build the house from straw. But, um, what's going to stop it blowing down in the wind? We're going to cover it in special stuff called stucco. It's like plaster and it's wind and waterproof. Farmer Pickles, can I leave you and Travis to get the straw bales to the site? Of course you can, Bob. Let's go, team! Here we are. Scoop, Benny and Muck, I'll need you to dig out the foundations. No prob, Bob! What can I do? We'll need plenty of concrete for the foundations, Dizzy. Then we'll build up a dry stone wall to support the straw bales. Will the bales be strong enough? Yes, Muck. We're going to pin them in place with these spikes made of wood. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Right, Travis. That's the first load ready. <laughs> Won't Spud be surprised when he finds out what we're doing? I wonder where he's got to. Up to mischief, no doubt. Farmer Pickles just thinks I mess around all the time. But Spud's a good scarecrow. I just need to show him. I wish I could scare all you bales away. That's it. If I hide all this straw, there won't be enough to make the new scarecrow. Right, Travis. There's not many left, so it shouldn't take long. I need to distract Farmer Pickles. Time to show him what a good scarecrow I am. Then he won't need to make a new one. That's it, Lofty. Good work. Can I have a go now, please? Go on, then, Benny. Spud. Nobody gets near Farmer Pickle's sunflowers while Spud's around. I've never seen Spud work so hard. I didn't even have to ask him. <coughs> How did they get there? Someone's been hiding them. <coughs> oh, don't take them, Farmer Pickles. Please, don't take them. Spud. Did you hide all these bales? Uh, no. Well, yes, but you don't need them. You've got me! Spud, I haven't got time for games. Bob's waiting for these. But I thought if I hid them, you wouldn't be able to build the new scarecrow. What new scarecrow? The super-sized scarecrow for Sunflower Valley. <laughs> you thought I was using all this straw to build a new scarecrow? Aren't you? Of course not. <laughs> so, 
You do. You do still want me. You can be a bit of a handful at times, Spud, but you're still the best scarecrow I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you, Farmer Pickles. Now, we better get all these bales rounded up, or you'll never find out what the surprise is. I'm not sure I like surprises anymore. You can look at your straw surprise now. Oh, a house. It's a house made of straw. It's our new home, Spud. And... You've got your own bedroom. What? I don't have to sleep in the barn anymore. No, Spud. Whoopee! A house made of straw for a scarecrow made of straw. And all that new scarecrow nonsense gave me an idea. Oh, no. Is this another surprise? So I made a little scarecrow and decided to call our new house Scarecrow Cottage. Scarecrow Cottage. Maybe I do like surprises after all. <laughs> Here I come! <laughs> Batsy top bunk. I throw the ball to Muck, and you stand in the middle, Dizzy, and try to catch it. And if you catch it, one of us is Piggy in the middle. Oh, brilliant! Come and play Piggy in the middle with us, Wendy. I will later, Dizzy. I'm just going to put up this deck chair, enjoy the sunshine and read my book. Oh, OK, Wendy. Hey, wait for me! Right, then. Let's see. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Oh, that's OK, Dizzy. Hmm. Whee! Wow! <laughs> oh. Hey, careful, Muck. Sorry, Wendy. I got a bit carried away. I won't miss it this time. Piggy in the middle now, Dizzy. Ah, oh, lovely. Ready, Dizzy? Throw it hard, Scoop. Ah. Ah. Oh, what the? Oh. oh, quick! Come on, Wendy. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine, Scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now Wendy's piggy in the middle. I'll read later on. Come on, team. Let's play ball. Scoop, muck and dizzy 
and Rolly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Okay, team, we're building Farmer Pickle's barn right here. Once his sunflowers have grown, they'll be stacked inside. <laughs> no, no, I can't play now, Scruffy. Right, we'd better get started. I'll mark out the foundations. Scoop and Muck, you'll be doing the digging. No prob, Bob. Let's get lucky. I can't believe I'm going to be helping Bob today. Oh, wicked. Dizzy, we'll need some cement mixing. Oh, yeah. Scruffy! Uh, OK, Bob. Then we'll put together the shelving, put up the walls, and first of all, drop the oh, loose sections Scruffy, off. Scruffy, I can't hear what my job is. <laughs> hey, Bob, what will I be doing? Oh, well, there isn't really a job for you, Scrambler. Thanks for the offer, though. What, no job for me? <laughs> oh, hello again, Scruffy. Actually... You know, there is something you can do to help Scrambler. Really? Wicked! What is it, Bob? You can look after Scruffy for us. Farmer Pickles and Travis are back in Bobsville picking up supplies. If we leave Scruffy on his own, he'd probably end up as part of the building. <laughs> oh, but I thought I'd be doing a proper job. This is a proper job. You're not just keeping Scruffy out of our way. You'll be making sure he's safe, too. Yes. Why don't you take him for a walk? <laughs> A walk? Oh, OK. Come on, Scruffy. Let's scram. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Uh, yes, yeah, think so. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm walking a dog. I thought I was going to get something important to do. <laughs> hey, maybe if we walk lots and lots, you'll get tired and go to sleep. Then you won't be in anyone's way and I can go and help Bob. Oh, wicked. Come on, Scruffy. Let's walk. <laughs> Team, time to get the barn walls up. Oh, come on. Scruffy and Scrambler won't be gone forever. We'd better get a move on. Bob? 
going to put a special oven inside, Lofty. The heat from it will finish drying the sunflower seeds off. We'll be making lots of shelves, too. The sunflowers dry out on those before the seeds are harvested. Good job Scruffed is not here. We're going to need to concentrate. You're meant to hide, Scruffy, not scram. <laughs> wow! Look at that! Repeat! <laughs> hey, you're off riding! Ha ha! <laughs> oh yeah? Think you can take on Scrambler, do you? goes up this funnel. And then through all those steel pipes to the roof. Farmer Pickles is going to have the driest sunflower seeds ever. <laughs> yeah, but what about this? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's been fun playing with you too, Scrafty. Uh, uh, uh. I think we've earned this cup of tea, don't you, Wendy? Oh, yes, we certainly have, Bob. Mind you, we'd still have been working if Scrafty had been here. That's true. I wonder where Scrambler's got to with him anyway. I think I can answer that, Bob. Hello, it's Farmer Pickles. And Travis. Oh, and Scrambler. Uh, but where's Scruffy? He's right here. <laughs> we found them both fast asleep in a clearing on our way back. I wasn't sleeping, I was just resting. Dog walking is wicked. Oh, wow! You finished the barn! Oh, it looks mighty fine, Bob. You and Wendy have done a grand job. <laughs> Hello. Looks like someone's woken up. Hey! <laughs> Get off! I got that tickles! <laughs> oh, you know what, Scrambler? I think Scruffy's taken quite a liking to you. You reckon? Oh, wicked! He's a really neat dog! We are off-roading buddies now! You did three very important things today, Scrambler. Yes, you kept Scruffy out of our way while we were working. And made sure he was safe, too. That's only two. What's the third thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what it is, Scrambler. You made a brand new friend. Oh, yeah! Wicked! <laughs> yeah! Woof, woof, woof! Woof, woof, woof! <laughs> oh, Scrambler!
What about that pebble, Bob? <gasps> oh, yes. Terrific, Muck. It's really shiny. Well spotted. And that shell, too. Ha-ha! <laughs> One more for our collection. And some seaweed, just for a change. Wow! we found loads of interesting things, haven't we, Bob? Yes, Muck. We've got a fantastic collection of beach things now. Bob, is there anything worth collecting in here? Oh, let's see, Scoop. Oh, yes. Look at this shell. It's a great find, Scoop. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> I found a hole. I only wanted to put my tent up. Who put this here? Oh, uh, I did. Sorry, Spud. <laughs> Perhaps you better put the sand back in the hole, Scoop, before someone else finds it. Yes, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Uh, Bob, I found a funny shell. Oh, oh, oh! What's going on? Oh, oh, oh! It's all right, Lofty. It's a hermit crab. They make their home in a shell and then carry it round on their back. Oh! That's very clever, isn't it, Bob? <laughs> yes, Lofty. Hermit crabs don't need anyone to build them a home. They just find a shell that's already been built. Oh! oh, oh, oh a giant hermit crab! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lofty. It's Hermit Spud. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Oh, where am I? Oh, careful, little hermit crab. <laughs> Pickle's new factory to turn sunflowers into sunflower oil. Brilliant! How do you build a sunflower factory? <laughs> well, Dizzy, best person to ask is my sunflower factory expert, Marjorie. Marjorie? She's just... Hi, everyone! Hi! I'm Dizzy. Are you Marjorie? And have you come all the way from Bobsville on a bicycle? <laughs> Well, hello, Dizzy. Yes, I am, and yes, I have. Brilliant! Can you tell me all about sunflower factories? How many sunflowers make a bottle of oil? And does... Oh, um, well, let's see. Whoa, Dizzy! Let Marjorie get off her bike first. Sorry, Marjorie. <laughs> Dizzy, you've been asking questions all morning. So? Well, maybe everyone wants to get on with building instead of answering lots of silly questions. Right, everyone. Let's get started. What's first, Marjorie? Well, Bob, first we need to lay the foundations, like so. Of course. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, I've still got some cement left. How are we doing, Marjorie? Great, Bob, but we mustn't forget the storage bay. That's where we'll keep the sunflowers before they go into the factory. That must be what my cement's for. Why don't you ask Bob? <laughs> oh, Muck, ignore him, Dizzy. I can work it out on my own. I bet it's going here by this tree. 
tree. Oh, um, why? Because it's a shady place for Farmer Pickles to load up the sunflowers. Benny, you'll have to move Marjorie's bicycle. OK, Dizzy. Right, let's dig those foundations. Dizzy! Oh, coming, Bob! You can use the last of your cement to pour the concrete floor. But aren't I going to... Oh, nothing. I don't have any questions. <laughs> I'll let you get on with it, then. Watch out! My bicycle! Oh, oh, hang on! Thanks, Lofty. I'm sure I didn't leave it there. Oh, well. Oh, um, maybe you should have asked Marjorie before you moved her bicycle. It's not my fault if Benny left it in a silly place. Let's get on with the storage bay foundations! But I saw the cement was for the floor. That was that cement. Anyway, I don't think it is supposed to go by the tree. It'll be much better here. Um, I think you should ask Bob first, Dizzy. Oh, yeah, definitely. Can't you see? Bob's busy. Wow, it's going to be big, eh, Marjorie? That's right, Farmer Pickles. There's a lot of machinery to fit inside. I know the storage bay is supposed to be here. Bob's even left this pile of solar panels to remind himself. Uh, shouldn't you just ask to make sure? No. Muck will say I'm asking too many questions. We'll have to move the panels. So let's move Marjorie's bicycle first. Put it somewhere safe this time, Benny. Oh, it wasn't my fault. Bob will be really pleased. Lofty, can you come and help us? Oh, uh, coming, Bob. Oh. I can't pour the concrete till Lofty's put the corner posts in. <sighs> we'll just have to wait. Right. Now it's time for the wall panels. <laughs> Careful, Scoop! Oh, no! What's my bike doing there? Whoa! Look out below! Oops! Oh, Marjorie! Oh, that was lucky. It certainly was. I thought I'd left it over by those solar panels. <laughs> it must be all this country air going to your head, Marjorie. I suppose it must. Phew! That was lucky. Yes. You left Marjorie's bike in a really silly place. What? Anyway, while we're waiting for Lofty, you can dig the holes for the posts. This must be the storage bay roof. So, this is where it's supposed to go. You just need to move that and we can get started. Move Marjorie's bicycle? No way! Oh, Benny, just lean it against that tree. Then it's back where it was in the first place. Oh, which means it must be OK. Now, what are these again, Marjorie? Wind turbines. Along with the solar panels, they'll make all the power the factory needs. Natural energy, too, from the wind and the sun. Yes! Now we need to bolt on the roof panels the solar cells attach to. Oh, um, here you are! There. Now we can see where the corners will be. And I can dig the holes! Oh, uh, the roof panels are all up, so I can help you now. Brilliant! We've done all this and we didn't have to ask Bob one question. <gasps> up there! The panel's falling off! Oh, no! <gasps> Look out! Oh! Oh. Oh, dear. That is a pickle. I can't understand it. I'm sure I left my bicycle at the front of the factory. You did. It's my fault. I told Benny to move it. Why on earth did you do that? So that I could get on with the storage bay. See? The foundations are in. But that's not where it's going. It's supposed to be over there. Dizzy, you know you have to ask before you go ahead and do something. I'm really sorry about your bicycle, Marjorie. Oh, it's OK, Dizzy. I've got a puncture repair kit and it won't be the first time I've had to straighten my spokes. Right, this is where the storage bay is supposed to be. We'll put the new foundations in now, Bob. Oh, um, 
what about the old ones? We'll recycle those later, Lofty. Now, I'd better get back to the factory. Dizzy, I'm sorry I teased you before. It's okay. Next time, I won't do anything without asking. Wait a minute, I've had an idea. I know a way to really say sorry to Marjorie. Great, I'll help. Oh, Dizzy, shouldn't you ask first? Yeah, haven't you learned your lesson? Of course. I just need your help for this one little thing first. It's recycling, like Bob said. Oh, all right. Oh, Marjorie, this is the sunflower factory of my dreams. Thanks for all your help. Well, Bob and Wendy and the team have done a great job. Oh, thanks, Marjorie. But what's that bit? It's a surprise for Marjorie. Oh, for me. Go on, Benny. Oh. It's a bicycle shed. Now you'll always have somewhere safe to put your bike. <laughs> Dizzy. That's brilliant. Well done. Now we don't need to take the old foundations out. You've recycled them into something really useful instead. Yeah, and now that Dizzy's such a good builder, I'm going to be asking her loads of questions. Who's doing that? Funny. <laughs> Quiet, everyone, please. The sandcastle competition is about to start. Come on, Scoop. You can help me. No prob, Bob. And you're with me, Muck. Great, Wendy. The first prize for the best sandcastle builder is this magnificent beach ball. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Oh, can we win it? Yes, yes we can! can! Sandcastle builders, on your marks, Get set and build! Come on, Rowley, let's build a sandcastle! All right, mate, I'm with you! Oh, this is great! Did you see that? Woohoo! <laughs> hey, rock and roll! Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Ready, Smudge? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Very good, Bob. I... Oh, Look at everyone! Oh, Scarecrow coming through! Oh, 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 we don't have any <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Look what you've done! Oh, oh Spud! Sorry, Mr Bentley. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, we're really sorry. Don't worry. We can play beach football instead. Good idea, Dizzy. I can be the referee. Rock and roll! I'll be the goalkeeper. Nothing's going to get past me.
Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Um, so what is it, Bob? A flat-packed house, Rolly. A flat house? Rock and roll! That is my kind of thing. It won't stay flat, Rolly. It's packed flat to make it easier to get it here. This is a self-build house. It's like a kit with everything you need to build a home. Oh, uh, that's clever, Bob. Yes. Who's it for? It's for Marjorie from the Sunflower Factory. We're going to show her how to put it together. Oh, brilliant. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. Oh, um, where are Muck and Benny? Look, Benny, a tent. Who's in it? I don't know. From the sunflower factory. Hi, you two. Hi, yeah. Morning. Come on, let's see what else is going on. Oh, morning. Hi, Spud. How do you like sleeping in your straw house? Oh, I love it. A house built out of my favourite thing. Mud's my face. I wish I could build a house out of mud. And I'd like one built out of snow. Oh, I wonder if you can build houses out of mud and snow. Come on, let's go and ask Bob. Bob, can, can you build houses out of mud? Yes, you can. In hot places, some people live in mud huts. And what about snow? Well, in very cold places, people live in snow houses called igloos. Igloos. Unreal. Anyway, where have you two been? Exploring. Well, make sure you take your talkie-talkies next time in case I need you. We will, Bob. Do you need us now? Scoop needs help with the foundations. Let's go. everyone. I'm ready for action. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm not too late, am I? No, just in time. I've got a hard hat for you, Marjorie. Thanks, Wendy. Finished, Bob. What's next? Can you take the soil back to the yard? Then you and Benny can go and explore more if you want. But don't forget to take your talkie-talkies. We won't. See ya. Hello again. Hi, Spud. Look at all this lovely mud. Are you going to build a house with it? Oh. <sighs> Bad. You're a genius. Am I? Uh, I mean, I know. I am. Will we use this mud to build me a mud hut? Yeah. Where shall we build it? I don't know. Let's go and look. Wait for me. How about right here? Yeah. Nice views. Um... Isn't it a bit too near the river? Exactly. We can get water and more mud if we need it. This is the perfect place to build my mud hut. Ready for the first wall, Lofty? Oh, uh, OK, Bob. That's it, Lofty. Hold it steady while we bolt it on. Good job, Lofty. Ready for the next one? Here it comes, Bob. Look, all these old posts were in the recycling pile at the yard. So we're reusing them. And I found these branches that have blown down. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Take long. These flat houses are really quick to build. Yeah, it looks like a house already. Oh, it looks like a house already. Unreal banana peel. What's next? It's time for mud, and we're going to need loads of it. Spud likes the sound of that. Away. 
Here it comes. No, it doesn't. Wait for it. Somebody down my face. He's not in your eye. Oh, we're out of mud. Don't worry. I'll just go get some more. Just wait till the others see Mucky Muck's mud hut. Yeah, they'll be really impressed. Quick, move! It's heading for Marjorie's den! I can't look! We need more! I use my talkie talkie! Emergency! Emergency! This is Muck! We need help! Over! What's up, Muck? The river's burst! It's back in the field above Marjorie's tent! Action stations, team! Scoop, you go to the storerooms and pick up some sandbags. Lofty, take me to the river. Just grab anything! I don't know how long I can hold it! Smart on the job! <laughs> what happened? See you later! Just help me stop this water! No prod, Muck! Sandbags will do it. Hold it steady, Muck. Good thinking, you two. That will really help. Right, Muck. You can move away now. Gently does it. For now, but we'll have to come back and rebuild the bank properly. I'm really sorry, Bob. How on earth did this happen? Well, we were building a mud hut and we used mud from the riverbank. It looked great, but then the water washed out and and washed the hut away. And Marjorie's tent. It was all my fault. Well, nobody was hurt, and I think you've learned an important building lesson today. You can't just build a house anywhere. There are lots of things to think about. Like not building too near water. Uh, what shall I do with this, Bob? <gasps> Marjorie's tent. Where's she going to sleep now? Yeah, her stuff is all soggy. Just like me. Well, we'd better get back and finish Marjorie's house then, hadn't we? the outside all done, Marge. Oh, <laughs> I mean Marjorie. <laughs> That's all right, Bob. Actually, I prefer Marge. Well, Marge, we'll start on the inside tomorrow. These self-build houses are amazing. I can't wait for my family to see it. They'll be moving here soon, too. Oh, it'll be brilliant having more people in Sunflower Valley. Well, I can't think of a better place to live. And now you know how to build one, you'll be able to show the next people that come. Absolutely. We're really sorry about your tent. Oh, that's OK. The inside of the house might not be finished, but I can still sleep in there. It'll be like, like a giant tent. Right. I think it's time we got you two cleaned up. Yeah, I've had enough mud for one day. I never thought I'd hear you say that, Mucky Muck. Mucky Muck's had enough! <laughs> 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 <laughs>